Hey guys, the Leichte Becker here and today we are doing a spelt bread with whole spelt grains. And we are using two soakers for this. And this is all you're gonna need for it, as well as an oven. So let's get started. We begin by mixing the spelt soaker. For this we take 175 grams of spelt grains. This is around 25% and mix this with 360 milliliters of water. Now we give it a quick stir so that everything is well mixed. And we can keep continuing with our second soaker. For this we take a second bowl. This is now our spelt flour soaker. Here we take 200 grams of whole grain spelt flour as well as 200 milliliters of water. And now we mix everything till it's well combined to a dough. And we can cover this bowl with its lid and we can use this bowl to cover the other bowl. This way both soakers won't dry out. And as you can see also the second bowl is perfectly sealed. And now we let both soakers rest for the next 26 hours at room temperature. 26 hours later take a look now how active, nice and bubbly our spelt flower soaker is. Everywhere you can see little bubbles. And the spelt crane soaker sucked up a lot of the water as you can see. And even here's a little bit of activity to see with all the bubbles on top of the water that is left. And now let's start with the actual dough of the bread. Therefore we take our spelt soaker and we put in there 500 gram of spelt flour. Strong spelt flour if you want to say so, but we are not taking the white spelt flour here. Then we take 17 grams of salt which is around 2.5%, 21 grams of fresh yeast, which is around 3%, or 7 grams if you use dry yeast. And don't get too hung up with fresh versus dry yeast, just use the one you have available. The most important rule is to know that you need 3 times the amount of dried yeast if you use fresh yeast, or just a third of the amount of fresh yeast if you use dried yeast. To show you even better that it doesn't matter, I use fresh and dried yeast in the same dough. But you can stick with whether fresh or dry yeast, that's totally fine and completely up to you. Whatever you prefer. And the last thing we have to add is the spelt flour soaker. And with just a little bit of editing magic, I knead the dough, change the bowl and put the lid on it. And now we can let the dough rest for another one and a half hour. One and a half hour later, we are coming back to our dough. And take a look how nice and beautifully it has been risen. It's almost filling out my whole bowl. And look at all these bigger and smaller bubbles inside the dough. Really nice. Let's flour the working surface and dump the dough on it. And you should also cover the dough with a little bit of flour, so it keeps less sticking on your hands. Now we knock the dough back. Therefore we are folding it kind of like we would fold a letter. So we take one side and fold it over into the middle. And we repeat this for all sides. This way we start the process of rising in the dough again. And this leads then to more taste in the bread, because the bread has more time to develop taste. And then we bring the dough in a round shape. A round dough is always the starting point for you, how you work with the dough later. But in this case we keep the dough in the round shape, to make a round bread. So let's put the dough on a baking tray. I use here baking paper underneath, but you can also just flour the baking tray a little bit and put the dough on that. It will work just as fine. Now flour does the dough a little bit and spread the flour all over the bread. So the cuts come out much better when you cut in later on the dough. Then we cover the dough and we let it rest for another 30 minutes. Meanwhile we prepare the oven. We set the oven temperature to 230 degrees Celsius on top and bottom heat. We also put a heat resistant bowl with water into the oven to create a lot of steam. Our 30 minutes after dough is risen very beautiful. And now we can give the dough our signature. The shape you cut into the dough is completely left to you. I decide here for kind of a chessboard cutting. And then the bread is ready to go in the oven. At 230 degrees Celsius the bread goes now for 10 minutes in the oven. All the steam we have now supports the dough to rise nicer and more evenly and it also creates a better crust on the bread. Enjoy the oven cinema! 
After 10 minutes we can now take out the bowl with the leftover water. And the temperature stays at 230 degrees Celsius and we keep letting the bread bake for another 45 minutes. Enjoy! And after 55 minutes are over, I'm confident the bread is baked fully, so let's turn the oven off and take the bread out. And this looks so gorgeous. Look at this nice spelt bread. Really good. Let's do quickly the knock test to see if the bread is really done. And that sounds great. This hollow noise is exactly what we want to hear after finishing baking a bread. That means the bread is done baking. And after a little bit of waiting to let the bread cool down, you can cut it open. And this sounds so good, I can't wait to have a slice. Look how good the inside and the crust looks of the bread. Everywhere are smaller and bigger holes and the crust is baked really nice. So it's strong and crispy. And now listen to this crust. It just sounds so good. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and tell all your family and friends about my channel. That would help me out a lot. See you in the next video.